Today I'm going to review and test practice bottles from flybottle.com. These are not new bottles, but uh, I can see that they made significant changes since I tried them last time years ago. So let's do this. So first, let's figure out who's buying those bottles and what for. First, usually bartenders who just uh, get into bartending and they actually need to practice words and some really easy tricks. And on the other hand, bartenders who preparing for competitions, shows, who practicing like advanced techniques with multiple objects, with multiple bottles. They also need plastic bottles to practice. Try these bottles for a few days and I'm gonna give you a full overview and I also will tell you why I love these bottles and why they probably would be good for beginners and for professionals. So whoever designed those bottles had pretty good idea of what they will be used for. So there's the classic Fly Pro Fly Training. Those three types of bottles made with a different material. So the really soft one, Fly Pro is also soft, but you could see that it's made with a kind of thicker uh, rubber, so it's definitely not as soft as this, this bottle. So you could see the difference. And the classic that made with uh, hard plastic. And it's really, really cool that you can pour water into uh, soft bottles too. I might be wrong, but I think this is the first uh, actually a soft bottle that you can uh, use uh, liquid. So there you go. Based on my experience flipping bottles forever, I actually would recommend to buy the soft bottle for beginners. So the best part, you wouldn't get hurt since the bottle is like really, really flexible. <laughs> it's really important, especially when you practice in hand stalls. So this part like really sensitive. And if you will be practicing with hard plastic, you can even hear the different sound. So like for all beginners, this soft bottle. The only thing maybe it's not so comfortable to catch into the shaker just because it's like stuck a little bit since it's made from uh, rubber. To me it has pretty perfect shape, uh, long neck. So it's really nice for grip, especially if you like bottles such as Bacardi, which you can see it's really similar. But again, the goal is to get used to this bottle and uh, eventually you should be uh, comfortable to do flare tricks with any kind of bottles. But to get started, this is perfect. Another thing, when you drop this bottle, it doesn't make noise. So you get an idea. Beginners bartenders should feel really comfortable using these bottles without being afraid to break something or get hurt. So back to these two bottles, and as I mentioned earlier, hard plastic and thicker rubber. Either bottle would work for advanced and professional bartenders. If you ask me which one to choose, here's the thing. If you're already advanced or professional bartender, you should know what bottles you usually prefer to use. If it's a Bacardi for um, multiple objects, then um, you should go with this bottle. If you prefer like maybe bigger bottles or liters for your working flare, if you do a lot of juggling in your routine, and you prefer to use bottles uh, such as like Malibu shape because this one uh, pretty close to Malibu shape bottles go with this one me personally as a go-to bottle I would choose the classic one because when I flare I don't drop much but and also it's very very close to real glass bottle there are just few things I don't like about fly bottle so you can see logo placed really really well on the bigger bottle and then for the older skinnier bottles they actually have the sticker which easily could be removed and once you practice in uh, into the shaker again and again it gets a little uh, sharp and gets kind of like um, uncomfortable for your hand but this is obviously non-significant so you could just simply take it out another thing i absolutely love the colors however i wish that they would make clear bottle just because when you use clear bottle behind the bar guests think that it's a glass bottle and it does look like real so it would be really nice to have the open price is not bad at all consider the quality of the bottle didn't find them on amazon which means you always would need to pay for shipping if you need to buy them in the united states and usually bartenders get two three sometimes four bottles it could get a little pricier when you add shipping to it now if you ask me would i recommend these bottles yes i definitely would recommend 
and hopefully this review will help you what paddles to choose. But again, this was just my opinion and you guys can search for alternative options online. I will be using this bottle myself as much as possible and also will be practicing with students. So we probably will come back within six months or so with another overview how the bottle actually lasts. Thank you guys for staying until the end and if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button like this <laughs> and I will see you next week. Nothing is it